Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Tanks have always been considered the main ground equipment of any army. Modern machines have stepped far from previous developments. They have stealth, increased protection, and more powerful weapons. Today we have prepared for you a selection of 10 tanks that have recently been upgraded and meet the most severe requirements of our time. But among them, there are those that are still in development. M60TM Turkey has completed the modernization of its M60T main battle tanks on the standard M60TM. The modernization was carried out by leading defense company Azalsan. The M60TM keeps the design of the original American-made M60T but fits it with new armor and additional capabilities into existing systems to protect the tank in modern warfare. It includes a remotely operated weapon station mounted on the roof of the turret, a laser warning system, a 360-degree surveillance system, and a telescopic mast with camera to conduct surveillance missions on the battlefield, it added. The M60TM is also fitted with a Pulat active protection system developed and designed by the Turkish company Azalsan. Pulat detects any incoming threats and neutralizes them before they even reach the tanks. Leopard 2PL The Leopard 2PL version is a modernization of Leopard 2A4 tanks already serviced in the Polish Army. The Leopard 2PL is mainly tasked to assault and maintain terrain. Supporting mechanized and motorized subdivisions is realized with its onboard weapon system in all weather conditions both during the day and night. The Polish tank has improved armor protection. An advanced modular armor protection composite armor kit developed by the IBD Duesbroth Company of Germany was fitted to the turret. This armor provides higher level of protection against wide range of threats. The Leopard 2PL tank retains a 120mm L44 smoothbore gun of its predecessor. However, the gun was modified by Rheinmetall to be compatible with newly developed high-pressure ammunition such as programmable DM-11 high-explosive airburst ammunition and high-power DM-53 and DM-63 armor-piercing rounds. Leclerc XLR the Leclerc Scorpion, or XLR, is a modernized version of the French-made Leclerc main battle tank designed and manufactured by the French company Nexter Systems. The Leclerc XLR is upgraded with a new armor package that includes additional modular armor on the hull and the turret. The front part of the hull side is protected by thick, passive armor, while the rear part is fitted with wire cage armor to protect the engine compartment against attacks of RPGs. The Leclerc XLR will be equipped with an open electronic architecture. The new contact tactical radio system, NBC protection system, night vision equipment, and the Scorpion information and command system and associated displays. The Leclerc XLR uses the same power pack as the standard Leclerc tank, which consists of a diesel engine developing 1,500 horsepower. Arjun MK-1A The MK-1A is a new variant of in-service MBT Arjun tank developed to boost firepower and mobility. The tank is equipped with 72 new features and incorporates numerous upgrades on Arjun tank, the current in-service main battle tank with the Indian Army. Additionally, the MK-1A can operate in all types of terrains as well as engage targets during the night. This tank is particularly configured and designed for Indian conditions and hence it is suitable for deployment to protect the frontiers in an effective manner. In a statement, the MOD said, The MK-1A is equipped with accurate and superior firepower, all-terrain mobility, and invincible multi-layer protection provided by an array of advanced technology systems. T-64 BVK Kharkiv Armored Plant has developed an upgrade package for Ukraine's T-64 BVK, a command variant of the T-64 main battle tank, 
which has successfully completed an initial round of tests, state-owned conglomerate Ukroboromprom announced on its website. The upgrade is necessary not only to significantly improve the existing technical characteristics of the vehicle, but also to create all the appropriate conditions for effective control over a tank unit. The T-64 BVK has received a thermal imager, a satellite navigation system, and new optics for the commander providing a detection range of 6,560 feet. 2000 meters. The vehicle has also received a new radio system, intercom, and driver's rear-view camera under the upgrade. The commander's cupola is fitted with a protected mount for an NSV 12.7 by 108 mm heavy machine gun. Additional improvements include a new fuel filter, enhanced protection for the fuel tanks, and composite rubber metal screens added to the sides of the tank. M1A2 SEP V3 The Abrams M1A2 SEP V3 system-enhanced package is a modernized configuration of the Abrams main battle tank in service with the U.S. Army. The new version offers enhanced protection and survivability as well as higher lethality than its predecessors. The main gun fitted on the tank is a M56 120mm smoothbore cannon which can fire M829A4 advanced kinetic energy and advanced multipurpose rounds to defend armored vehicles, personnel, and low-flying aircraft. The hull and turret integrate a new armor package for superior protection against threats from improvised explosive devices. The tank can be hinged with reactive armor and slat armor. Either side of the turret is fitted with M250 six-barreled smoke grenade dischargers. T-72M1 In mid-May 2021, the Iraqi Popular Army presented the first sample of the upgraded T-72M1 tank. Now, outwardly, they have become similar to modern Russian main battle tanks T-90S. The upgraded T-72 tank is superior to the baseline T-72 in firepower, protection, and mobility, and compares favorably to its predecessors in the installation of upgraded and all-new components. The fully stabilized auto-loaded 2A46 gun of increased accuracy increases the effective range of fire. With its armor plating combined with the tank's high camouflage properties, integral explosive reactive armor, and automated smokescreen laying system, the tank is capable of accomplishing missions under strong enemy fire. Alte The Alte is the official name of the Turkish future main battle tank. The Turkish armored vehicles manufacturer BMC won the multi-billion dollar Alte contract in November 2018 to produce an initial batch of 250 units, provide life cycle logistics support, and establish a tank system technology center and relevant operations. The Alte program is broken into two phases, T1 and T2. T1 covers the first 250 units and T2 involves the advanced version of the tank. Turkey plans to eventually produce 1,000 Altes to be followed by an unmanned version. The Alte main battle tank is planned to have a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. It is a version of the Rheinmetall gun. Similar guns are used on the German Leopard 2A6 and 2A7 tanks, as well as on the South Korean Black Panther tank. M1A2D. According to a press release published by U.S. Congressman Tim Ryan, $65 million has been secured to upgrade the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank, which is produced at the Lima Tank Plant, Lima, Ohio. The funding secured by Congressman Ryan will extend the service life of the main battle tank and also integrate an unmanned turret. The M1A2 SEP V4 or M1A22D is now in development featuring the third-generation FLIR, the cornerstone technology that will provide tank crews the ability to identify enemy targets farther than ever before. The FLIR will be an upgrade to both sites and will be common with other combat platforms.
With the upgrade, the Abrams will integrate a color camera, iSafe laser range finder, and cross-platform laser pointer to facilitate multi-domain battle into the commander's sight. MGCS The main ground combat system, MGCS, is a project by France and Germany since 2012 to replace their currently deployed Leclerc and Leopard 2 main battle tanks. The contract for the first part of the System Architecture Definition Study was signed in May 2020 by the German Armed Forces Procurement Office on behalf of both nations to a consortium consisting of Rheinmetall, Nexter, and KMW with the aim of assessing different aspects of the program such as interoperability with national systems, harmonizing requirements, and defining a multi-platform architecture for the future MGCS. One precondition for a new tank may be the development of a new main cannon with better performance. German defense company Rheinmetall showcased a new 130mm tank cannon, the RH-130L51. It is designed to offer better performance than the current RH-120L55 introduced with the Leopard 2A6. That's all friends, thanks for watching, write in the comments which of the tanks you like the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.